Hey there, today we are going to open up this KitchenAid attachment. I am very excited to use it because I have a lot of cheese to grate for mac and cheese that I'm gonna smoke on the pellet grill and I don't wanna do it all by hand today so I'm hoping that this KitchenAid attachment helps me out. It is the stand mixer attachment. That, let's see what it's called. Fresh prep slicer and shredder. So yeah, I wanted to get this attachment to try it out. I've been making a lot of really great baked goods with the KitchenAid stand mixer, but I do a lot of just regular cooking. Um, I could use this for making like queso dips, salsas, all sorts of vegetable salads that have little chopped up things. So let's see how it does with cheese because when you have a lot of cheese to grate, it can take a lot of time and it can wear down your muscles. So join me as I open this up and see how it does shredding cheese. The first thing I'm gonna do is wash and dry everything and then I hope to use it on my smoked mac and cheese recipe. So I just wanna make sure that I'm taking care of these really well. So I wanna make sure every time to hand wash them. And then I'm gonna also make sure to dry them right after, just so there's no rust or anything that can form. I just wanna keep them in good shape. And I don't always keep the box to everything, but in this case, I am gonna keep the box to this so I can put the attachments back in. And I was also going to say this one was kind of a surprise because I didn't know that this was hiding in one of the other pieces. So I'm looking forward to using this slicer as well. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so the first step says that I need to get a large bowl to put under the KitchenAid stand mixer so the fresh prep slicer can catch the food as it comes out. There we go. Okay, so in this pamphlet, it explains exactly how to put on the attachment, which goes on the front. So it says to turn the stand mixer off and unplug slide the blade you want to use into the housing you'll you will hear a click when the blade snaps into place properly on the drive shaft so the first thing that i want to shred is some cheese so i'm going to so i'm going to choose the large shredder attachment and i'm going to put it into the housing which is this I did hear it click in, so it's right inside of there, see? And so I think I actually shouldn't have put this on, so I'm gonna take it off. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this flap that is the front part of the KitchenAid, right? Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna open this. Mine just comes off like that, but they said there's another kind that's hinged. 
So you'll have to see based on which model you have of KitchenAid stand mixers, um, how you're gonna attach the slice and prep attachment. So this attachment for the KitchenAid is gonna go upright like this because the veggies or the cheese are gonna go right in here. And then this, I'm gonna snap into here. So I'm gonna do it sideways so you can see it. Okay, my knob over here was in a little too tight, so I think that was the issue at first. So I'm gonna slide that in. Oh yeah, it's on there nice and tight. And now I have to tighten this knob over here. It's just this little knob that's on the side. It just screws right in. All right, nice and tight, very tight. And then I'm gonna just check that it's completely in there. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, and so yeah, I shouldn't have put the bowl under here. I need to put the bowl under here. So when the stuff comes out, it's gonna go fall in a bowl. The next thing I have to do is make sure that my food is small enough to go in here. Let's see, it's about, it's about the size or the width of my finger. So that's a pre pretty decent size. But I do think I have to cut some of the cheese that I'm gonna make for my mac and cheese so it fits in here. So the cheese I'm gonna try out first is Gruyere cheese. I love Gruyere cheese in smoked mac and cheese. Um, it's a little bit more of a hard cheese, so I don't think that it'll crumble. Whereas I have some other cheeses. One is really soft, that's Gouda, that I wanna shred. But anyways, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I first wanna see if this will work shredding in this machine. Let's see if it fits. Does not fit, so I'll cut it down. Okay, the cheese is going in. And now it says to turn the stand mixer to the four setting and use a tube to push it down. Do not use your hands, that would be very bad. <laughs> use a tube. There's two different size tubes that you can use. So I'm gonna use this to push down the food and I hope it goes well. And let's see, I think it'll fall just fine into the bowl. It looks awesome. Oh, I still need a little strength here. Oh my God, this looks so good. <gasps> this looks awesome, look at that. I'm gonna give you another view. Okay? Do you hear me? Yeah. Look, it's getting smaller! It looks so good. Yeah, but look, it's getting, it does get smaller. It looks so good. Yeah. Is that so great? You want to yeah. try one? It went so fast. It went so fast. It did so good. I think it's going to be way easier to keep up with your mac and cheese requests. Now that we have this, we're gonna put it in mac and cheese. Okay, and now I'm gonna try some Gouda. It's a little bit softer, but the last one went so well, I have faith this will go good too. This is the coolest part ever, watch. <laughs> Ta -da! See? It's so good, it is amazing. Isn't that awesome? It's pretty awesome. More cheese! Oh my God, that was so easy. I love it. There is a big wad of cheese caught in there though. <laughs> yeah, this is a softer, stickier cheese. Taste test. Whoa. So, try it again. So it seems like slower is better for a sticky cheese like this that kind of needs the air and the rotation to help push it along. But it's working now. 
No hands. You're probably supposed to use hands, but no hands. They're perfect. It looks so good. Well, I'm definitely pleased with how the KitchenAid slicer shredder attachment worked. I'm gonna go make my smoky mac and cheese. You can get recipe directions for that at Sip Bite Go. And if you stay hanging on to this video just a little bit longer, I'll show you a little bit of what that looked like. But this made it so much easier to slice all the cheese for my project. When you're making a lot of mac and cheese, that is very important because that can take a long time and be kind of strenuous. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Cheers. It's a beautiful day to make some mac and cheese.